instructions have you remove this lower piece, not the top thicker part, but the bottom piece after you've sheeted the model and you've cut in for the windows, which would go right about here. And I just don't really see how that's going to be easy to do. So I'm going to go ahead and remove this bottom piece now before I sheet. Okay, it took a little bit of doing, but finally got it. I don't know how you would have done this with the sheeting on and just a little bit of the cockpit windows cut out, but uh, much easier to do without the sheeting. I also wonder why that was even in there the way it was. As you can see, it's doubled up right here. There's actually three pieces of ply. So I'm not even sure why this piece that I just cut out was even really in there. It doesn't need to be. It's certainly plenty strong without it. These right here will get cut out, uh, but that needs to be there for the sheeting to get the right shape, obviously. And then once the sheeting is in, the windows are cut out, and then these formers here are cut out. The original ball connector that I had on this rudder, it broke, the wire sheared, leaving uh, most of it inside. I had another ball connector like that, but I didn't feel comfortable using it since this one sheared. So I came in with a different arrangement. I'm using this horn bracket, which a couple of uh, nuts screws into the nirod. And then the wire comes down, you know, it goes through the rudder and then it comes down. So it's a torque rod down and then through the horn bracket. Just to show you. Works good. I don't have any problem with it. You don't use the rudder much anyway, especially in flight and since the nose was steering. It'd be pretty effective at directional control for takeoff and landing. I'm not really concerned about if I have enough rudder authority. I'm not even sure what Mr. Valentine recommends uh, for his rudder authority. I haven't looked, but I think that right there is probably, probably gonna be good enough. 